Okay, we're going to go through uh, querying something from the electronic journal in lock software and watching the video from the uh, GeoVision system on the GeoS viewer. So, uh, I think you all know how to use the journal, so we're just going to use some very simplified searches. Uh, hence the see all transaction. And then I'm just going to hit launch for today. And we got just three simple examples here we're going to look at, and then we'll go into more depth in some other videos to show you, like, suspend and resume and cancel order and so on and so forth. Um, so the first one is just get a basic overview. We're scanning some items, taking the credit card. Let's see what it looks like. So now we're calling the uh, GOS Watcher application. And it is going to log in to the Geo server, and then it's going to request stream of video, and then it's going to play back that stream of video for me. Now, if at the point that you see the item scan does not match the text overlay, um, you can use this offset scroll bar here. But uh, looking at our video, I think uh, that we're fairly well in sync. as you can see there and there's your subtotal and here comes your credit card now you can see here's the tender type that we processed um, SMS only outputs like cash, credit, debit, EBT and other so you can't get really, really tender specific, but you can see the major ones. Uh, so that's that. You also have the ability to backstep through the transaction. As you can see me close the drawer here. Right there. Uh, let's look at another transaction that's just slightly different. This one, as you will see, has a canceled item that was scanned. So let's take a look at that. button and now that item has been voided and this transaction was cashed out so here you can see we scanned a quantity of one for each of these items uh, and then here we have a voided UPC quantity of one price and our description pretty straightforward take a look at one more transaction before we conclude this video. Um, in this transaction, basically we have a cancelled department. And we also have a vendor coupon. And we're using a debit card. So let's check it out. So there's our grocery, open department ring, we have a taxable grocery, $3.65, department 2, non-food department 3. Now we've done a 25 cent vendor coupon, and we have voided the $3.65 in the taxable grocery. And there's our $6.62 debit transaction. As you see, total sales, net sales, so on and so forth. So the video is pretty straightforward. You find your transaction in the journal, you hit the video button, and you watch. And that will conclude this video.